Hi friends, now it's time to start uh, proving the different uh, algorithms as a uh, ENP complete. So first let's uh, begin with uh, proving the independent set problem as a uh, ENP complete problem. So an independent set problem is uh, NP complete if and only if the problem belongs to the NP group and also the problem should be a NP hard problem. So as we have seen that uh, NP hard means all problems in NP must be reduced to our ISP in poly time. So the problem is with this all problems. So all means there are almost infinite possible problems. So even if we leave one, then it fails to prove that it is uh, NP hard. So if you fail to prove it is NP hard, then definitely we fail to prove that it is NP complete. So there is one solution. This solution was uh, making use of our well-known Cook's theorem, which claims that three set problem is NP complete. In their paper, a uh, full explanation and all the proof is there, so it is beyond our reach to prove that using this theorem. So we just take this as our baseline. and then continue our work. So, before that, let's uh, remember one thing, that is uh, reducibility, when you talk of, then say, trying to find a problem of median, means uh, it can be first converted into a problem of sorting, and the result of sorting can be used to find the median. So this way we can say that the problem of median is reduced to problem of sorting. And uh, if you look at this, the median the sorting problem is something uh, order of n square, whereas median is just picking the center of the sorted list. So this is an order of one. So one thing is very clear that whenever uh, such a reduction is there, so the left hand side is somewhat easy problem and the right side is somewhat harder problem. Or we can say that uh, if L1 is reduced to L2, yield polynomial time, then we can claim that L1, uh, L2, is at least as hard as L1. So may not be more harder than that, but at least as hard as L1. And if if you know that this is NP complete, then it directly proves because of this that L2 is also NP complete. So that's a simpler uh, path we take in uh, proving any problem into uh, as a NP complete or not. So what is required now is we know that three set problem is NP complete. And if this problem in polynomial time, if can be reduced to 
independent set problem then e dependent set problem also can be confidently claimed as can be complete problem so how this can be done so let's take up an example so three set problem so is a cnf problem conjunctive normal form and uh, it has got uh, three literals in every clause so say x1 bar or x2 or x3 and x1 or x2 or x3 bar and x1 bar or x2 bar or x3 bar so something like this so we need to identify the solution for this so we this is a problem decision problem where if uh, values of x1 x2 x3 are given then we need to decide whether the cnf function three set function is true or false so for x1 x2 x3 being true or false some condition is given then for that we need to identify whether it is true or false so how it is done the simplest way of doing is for every clause uh, triangle is created so this is x1 bar x2 x3 then this is uh, x1 x2 x3 bar then this is x1 bar x2 bar x3 bar so for each clause one triangle and we have put these uh, lines so that uh, to simplify our work if one of the three literals is true then the whole clause will be true so there is no need to make uh, more than one select so one of them if it is selected then if x1 is 0 yeah it will take care of the first clause if x2 is 1 it will take care of this clause if x3 is 0 it will take care of this clause and so on so for every clause if one literal is satisfying that clause that is sufficient so we don't need all three literals to satisfy that clause because it is disjunctive so one of them if it is true that is sufficient so unnecessarily we don't need to make all of them true so if you select one then because of these edges we can't select other two because we are talking about independent set problem that's first thing second thing is if i say x1 is 0 then i cannot say x1 is 1 at the same time therefore if you try to say x1 is 0 then it cannot be x1 is 1 at the same time therefore if this is selected this should not be selected so made a uh, edge between these two so this is x1 this is x1 this is x1 bar so yes there should be a edge here so this is x2 this is x2 this is x2 bar so between these two so there should be a just so that if x2 is selected then this x2 bar should not be selected or if x2 bar is selected then these two should not be selected same way this is x3 this is x3 bar this is x3 this is x3 bar so this way we could uh, so convert our uh, three side problem so this is our uh, three side problem so we converted that into a graph which is useful in solving 
the independent set problem. So the aim of this now is to identify the nodes here. So we are having three clauses. Therefore, we should find three nodes that are uh, independent to each other. Say if I use this one, then I can use this one because they are not directly connected. So this may be my first choice, then this can be my second choice. So if these two are used, so if this is used, so I don't think uh, that's any problem. So if I use this, then I cannot use this. This I can use, this I can use because this is not used, therefore this is available and uh, this is used, therefore this is not available and uh, this can be used because this is not used. Since this is used, this is not available, this is not available, this is used, so this is not available, this is not available. So, because these are not available, the other ends can be used. So, we try to find this one. So, we said this uh, is uh, not connected to this, so I can use it. And then this cannot be used. And because of this, this cannot be used. Now, out of these, two are available, so you can use any of these. So, let me use this as my third one. So it says that uh, x1 should be 0. So in the first condition, third condition, both are talking of same thing. And the second condition says that x2 should be 1. Second condition says that x2 should be 1. Okay, now uh, this one, this one, this one, if you look at that, they are uh, independent of each other. So we have found uh, three nodes in this uh, graph which are independent of it. We wanted three graphs because there are three clauses. So one from each triangle we selected and we found that x1, 0, x2, 1 is okay. Then what about x3? x3 can be 0 or 1. There is no specific uh, condition for x3 so it can be either 0 or 1 so let's see what happens if it is uh, 0 and what happens if it is 1 so x1 is 0 therefore this is uh, sorry this is 1 x1 is 0 so this is 0 x1 is 0 so this is 1 x2 is 1, therefore this is 1, x2 is 1, therefore this is 1, x2 is 1, therefore this is 0, x3, if you take 0, then you get 0, if you take 1, you get 1, if you take 0, you get 1, if you take the 1, you get a 0, if you take a 0, you get a 1 here, if you take 1, you get a 0 here, so on. So whatever it is, whether it is 0 or 1, there is other elements which are confirming that this first clause is 1 and the x2 is confirming that this clause is 1 and in this case x1 bar is confirming that this is 1 whether x3 is 0 or 1 doesn't make any sense so clause 1 is 1, clause 2 is 1, clause 3 is 1 therefore 1 and 1 and 1 the total thing is 1 so we were able to identify 3 nodes that are independent of each other and because of which uh, we say that yes this problem is solvable though that way we can say that the three set problem is also solvable so we can say that three set problem is converted into a graph problem where we are solving the independent set problem and we could solve the independent set problem. The result of this 
is put back into the three set problem and we found that the same results were obtained there also now instead of uh, x3 yeah, instead of this uh, one if you had selected this as the third one then it would have it would say x1 equal to 0 x2 equal to 1 and x3 is 1 no, sorry x3 is 0 because this is x3 bar so x3 is 0 so third condition is not here so x1 is 0 x2 is uh, 1 x3 is 0 so x1 is 0 so x1 bar is 1 x2 is 1 so 1 x3 is 0 so we have a 0 here x1 is 0 x2 is 1 x3 is 0, so x3 bar is 1, x1 bar is 1, x2 bar is 0, x3 bar is 1. So, out of this, the clause 1 is 1, this clause 1, clause 2 is 1, and this says clause 3 is also 1, and therefore 1 and 1 and 1 will come from clause total. C CNF 3 set problem is also true. So, if we can find uh, the n number of independent nodes in this ISP, then those nodes correspond to the values of the literals and those literal values, if you substitute in the 3 set problem, then we get solution for that three set as true. So this way, what we did, we converted the three set problem into independent set problem and this is done in polynomial time. So for writing this graph, how much time required? So definitely not exponential time, it has to be polynomial time. So converting this is taking polynomial time. And then if this is solved, yeah, solving this definitely is going to take exponential time. But uh, if we identify somehow the three uh, n, n independent things, then those n, if you substitute back here, then that will solve this problem also. So if you can solve this problem, its equivalent thing can get a solution to the three set problem also. Therefore, we can say that three set problem is uh, reducible to the independent set problem in polynomial time. So finally, we declare that three set problem is reducible to the independent set problem in poly time and the solution of independent set problem uh, I don't know how it is found, somehow found can help in verifying the correctness of three set problem. So, we say that independent set problem is ENP complete problem. So, that's the proof. Thanks for watching. Many more problems to come. Keep watching. Thank you.